Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Ayn and I'm an events manager that works in the publishing industry. This is actually my uh, booktube newbie tag um, and I thought I would do that because actually I want to start talking a little bit more about books. It's something that I do a lot in my job but it's not something that I shared uh, much of on social media or in here. So I wanted to start off answering the questions that there are in the tag. I'm really sorry, I'm not very good at this thing so bear with me. I have got my phone with me. Actually I realised that I just like unmatch it with my phone. That it's quite embarrassing but oh hey um so yes i've got some questions uh, and i'm going to ask myself these questions and hopefully you get to know me a bit better and you'll know what to expect from my booktube content that will be coming up um soon so question number one is why did you start this channel so i actually started this channel to try and do a little bit more uh creative content and I wanted to share more tips to get into publishing and any sort of like career advice as well. But I have quickly realized that actually there is a lot already on YouTube. And although I will continue to do my kind of like videos on how to get into publishing or um, what you should do to kind of progress your career, because that's something that I'm super passionate about, I thought I would also add on um, the book element, which is why I'm now doing this tag. Question number two is what are some fun and unique things you can bring to booktube? If I feel the pressure, I'm not sure if I've got like fun and unique things, but I feel like obviously the fact that I work in publishing means that I am in contact with lots of amazing books and I can, I guess like I can talk a little bit more about what goes into like making a book, but also like some of the behind the scenes. Um, ultimately, I think my biggest thing is going to be just talk you through the books that have improved my life because that's what I'm all about. And I think there's gonna be like a question about what kind of books I read, so I'm not gonna burn that now. But yes, hopefully an insight into book publishing and also my thoughts on books that can change your life. Okay, so like next question is, what are you most excited for about this new channel? I think what I'm excited for is getting to know other people and also getting like other recommendations as well. I feel like I am always attracted to new ventures when it comes to kind of like creating something that can help you um, get into a community and get to know more people. That's definitely my thing. So that's something that I'm super excited about. But also I am excited to hear what you think about the books that I read and that I love because I don't think that there is a lot of um, like, I mean, maybe there are, maybe I haven't seen them, but I haven't seen a huge amount of channels talking about the books that I'm planning on discussing in here. And I feel like the need for these books have become, has become rather even more pressing because there is like so much going on in the world and I feel like we are turning to books, we are turning to content, we are turning to art to figure out how we're gonna make the best of our time and like, you know, lead the best life that we can lead and have the best career that we can have. And I love to unpack all that and I love to get knowledge and inspiration from books. So that's probably the two, those are the two things that I'm most excited about. Okay, this is a good one. Why do you love reading? I mean, why would anyone not love reading? Okay, no, that's not a good, that's a bad answer. Why do I love reading? I started reading when I was like little. I was very much a bookworm, classic person that works in publishing. I always loved books. It's true. Um, I was never though a picky reader. So I was always like quite curious about whatever books I could get. Um, I would literally just like pick up a book and read it. And I think for me, when I was a child, it was a really good way of escaping, but it was also a massive source of information. So I grew up um, in, I think what in the UK is called working class um, family. Like I didn't have access to like the same kind of information and things that um, some other people had. And I've always been like quite a driven person that I wanted to, um, I wanted to make something out of my life. So for me, books were a really amazing way to look into 
different kinds of people, different kinds of jobs, different places. Like, what was it like to live in New York? What was it like to live in London? I didn't get to travel a lot, which meant that books were kind of like that way for me to get to know things that otherwise I would have never known. And I feel like this served me really well because I started kind of visualizing and like dreaming about all these amazing things that I was reading and eventually I feel like books help me to make my dreams a reality which is why ultimately I love reading and I'm never going to give it up and that's why I've got all these lovely books and that's why I work in publishing as well. That was like the cheesiest thing ever it's like oh my god I love reading so much but it's true guys reading is the best thing. We'll talk another time about the fact that you don't have to read a million books a week to be a bookworm um, but yeah reading is awesome. Next question. What book or series got you into reading? I actually don't know. Obviously Harry Potter forever till I die. I'm still trying to get my partner to actually do a marathon of the movies with me. He won't do it. I don't know. I can't really think of like a book when I was a kid which I know is gonna be horrific to some of you if you're like super hardcore bookworm because it's like a big thing in the UK everyone is like oh this is the book that my childhood that has changed my life I'm definitely gonna have books that have changed my life but I've got to be honest they were not in my childhood they were like later on in my life um definitely I've got plenty of those what questions would you ask your favorite booktubers Oh, this is a good one. I think I would ask them if there was one thing that they could change about booktube, what would that be? And also on the flip side, what is the best thing for them about booktube? I'd be really, really interesting to hear. What challenges do you think starting a booktube channel will be the hardest to overcome? I reckon is going to be the fact that I'm gonna want to share my thoughts and content with you, but I also would, I, I don't like being rushed. I don't, I'm not a quick reader. I don't read really fast. I need to take my time. And I'm also like, I definitely read according to my mood and the kind of phase that I'm in. So I will always read based on what I feel like I need. Um, so for example, if I am in a phase in my life where I'm struggling with my career, I might read a more sort of like business focused books. But equally, if I am really stressed at work and I don't want to think about work too much, then I'm going to like kind of move on to a fiction book that can give me a bit of escapism and like just looking at something completely different than, you know, all that kind of businessy stuff. So yeah, um, I think that's going to be a challenge because I get this, the sense that anything, YouTube, um, Instagram, social media in general, blogging, it all kind of starts out of like, hey, I'm going to do something fun for me and to create new content and to meet new people. And then it turns into, oh my God, I must have a schedule. I must upload this every week. And I think that's going to be the biggest challenge, making sure that I don't let that pressure ruin the um, fun of you know creating this kind of video. The next question is when did you start reading? Oh um I mean when I was little I can't remember the, the, the age but yeah when I was little I think I always used to read as since I obviously I started reading I had just had a book in my hand. Um, I used to be like quite into like reading when other people were, when other kids rather were playing, which was not a good thing apparently back then. Now in publishing, it would be absolutely celebrated. So yeah, where do I read? Where do I read? Uh, like anywhere. I think back when we were commuting, I would read during my commute, um, but I also like to read before I go to bed. And sometimes I literally just finish work and then just like shut down everything and get get on reading on like I don't know on the sofa or wherever um I always have a book with me wherever I go whether it's on my kindle or like in my bag or even in my phone everywhere with me there's a book so any second that I can find like it doesn't matter where I am I'm gonna find a spot to sit down or to stand and read final question what kind of books do you like to read I mean I read 
lots of different genres so I'm not the kind of person that says oh I only read fiction or I only read um, I don't know classics or only self-help uh, or non-fiction I like to just as I said like read according to whatever I need but I do tend to go for books that have some kind of like personal development angle so for me whether it is non-fiction or fiction I need to be able to put down the book and think oh okay I feel like I have learned this this lesson or I have understood something um, better than before I had read the book so I have um, I've got with me obviously I've got like quite a lot of books like at the back in my bookshelves the books that have like kind of meant the most to me are books that are telling a very special story. So my absolute favorite book, um, which I actually have read quite a long time ago, it's nearly 15 years ago, um, so very long time ago, but anyway, um, is The Pursuit of Happiness. Um, and this is like my favorite book in the world and has definitely like changed the way I looked at my life and the way I have um, basically shaped the rest of it since I read this. So I read it in high school um, or just, yeah, just as I was finishing high school. Um, and I'll tell you a little bit more about it in another video, but that's like a, a, just a book that has had a very big impact on me. But I also love to read books about mindset. I love to read novels. So I have recently, I have read just a just to give you an example, I've read Olive and I have got um, just like some thoughts on my Instagram account. So go check it out um, and do give me a follow if you are there and say hello. And this was like an amazing book because um, I really needed to read this kind of story. So I guess like I am quite varied, but it's always about um, personal development and just hearing either an inspiring story or learning something new. Right, so that's it. That's my booktube newbie tag uh, video and I hope you enjoyed it. And you know, please don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Let me know in the comment down below if you have a booktube channel or if you just like, kind of like to hear about new books or like any specific kind of request that you might have around publishing as well. Um, I love to connect, I love to chat with you. Um, thank you for watching and see you soon.